Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video, You Can Do TV will show you the production process of large screw and stator. In the next sections are mesmerizing metalworking related production activities. In the beginning of the video, we will visit the factory of Lucini RS Foundry. It is a leading foundry in Italy, known for its ability to produce high-quality castings of up to 160 tons in weight. The company employs the latest VOD steel refining process and advanced heat treatment furnace, enabling it to manufacture products for demanding applications in power generation, renewable energy, and heavy industry. Forging a shaft from steel round material using the free forging method requires a skilled operator and specialized equipment. Here is an overview of the steps involved in the process. Heating the steel round material is a critical step in the free forging process. The temperature range of 1200 to 1300 degrees Celsius is typically used because it allows the steel to reach a plastic state where it is more malleable and can be shaped easily. At this temperature, the steel loses its hardness and becomes more ductile, making it easier to work with. Once the steel material is heated, it is placed on the anvil of a forging press. Preforming the material into the general shape of the shaft is done using a variety of hand tools, including hammers, tongs, and chisels. The operator must have a good understanding of the desired shape and dimensions of the shaft to ensure that the preforming is accurate and consistent. During the free forging process, the operator applies a series of blows to the steel material using the forging press. The operator must carefully control the pressure and direction of the blows to ensure that the material is shaped correctly and to the required specifications. The free forging method allows for greater flexibility in shaping the steel material than other methods, such as closed die forging or ring rolling. After the forging process is complete, the large coupling will need to undergo further machining to achieve its final dimensions and surface finish. A large CNC lathe is used for this process. The 8EX Holroyd Precision CNC Rotor Milling Machine is a state-of-the-art machine designed for the high-precision milling of rotors. It operates using computer numerical control CNC technology, which allows for precise control of the milling process. The standard range of the machines can cut rotor or worm helix profiles in blanks up to 850 millimeters 33 diameter. The machine consists of a workpiece spindle, a milling tool spindle, and a CNC control system. The workpiece spindle holds the rotor blank, which is the raw material that will be shaped into a finished rotor. The milling tool spindle holds the cutting tool, which rotates at high speeds and removes material from the rotor blank. The CNC control system directs the movements of the milling tool spindle, allowing it to precisely follow the contours of the rotor design. The control system also monitors the milling process to ensure that the correct amount of material is being removed at the correct speed and depth. The 8EX Holroyd Precision CNC Rotor Milling Machine uses a variety of cutting tools, including end mills and ball mills, to produce the desired rotor shape. Holroyd Precision Rotors has been at the forefront of screw and compressor rotor manufacture for over 50 years, working closely with customers to design and produce all types of helical forms, rotors, supercharger screws, blowers, pump screws, and vacuum screws. The screws and rotors produced by company are used in a wide range of applications, including the compression and transmission of gases, the handling of fluids, and the pumping of liquids. They are known for their accuracy, durability, and efficiency, and are designed to withstand the rigors of heavy use in industrial settings.
the Holroyd TG150E machine is specifically designed for the precision machining of screw rotors. This machine uses a unique grinding method that is capable of producing highly accurate screw and rotor profiles with a high level of repeatability. The process begins by clamping the workpiece, which consists of a screw and rotor, into the machine. The machine then uses a precision grinding wheel to remove material from the workpiece. The grinding wheel is computer controlled, allowing for precise control over the depth and shape of the cuts. After the machining process is complete, it is important to conduct a thorough inspection of the screw and rotor to ensure that they meet the required specifications. This inspection process typically involves using a variety of measurement tools, such as micrometers and gauges, to check the dimensions of the screw and rotor. In addition to measuring the dimensions, it is also important to inspect the surface finish of the screw and rotor. This can be done using specialized equipment such as profilometers, which can measure the roughness of the surface. The Dusan Puma 3100 XLY is a CNC turning center designed for high precision and productivity. It boasts a maximum turning diameter of 310 millimeters and features a Y axis for off-center drilling and milling operations, as well as an X and Z axis for standard turning operations. This machine is suitable for a wide range of applications, from small parts to large and complex components. Equipped with a powerful spindle motor, tool turret, and automatic tool changer, the Dusan Puma 3100 XLY allows for fast and efficient machining of complex parts. The machine also features advanced control systems, including Dusan's own FANUC i-Series control, which offers user-friendly programming and high-precision control of the machine. The vertical turning milling machine VMD-1000TM is a highly advanced piece of equipment used in manufacturing industries for precision machining. It is designed for turning, milling, drilling and grinding of large workpieces with high accuracy and efficiency. When machining HESAP cyclopalloid gear, the VMD-1000TM uses a specialized cutting tool to remove material from the workpiece. The machine's cutting tool is carefully programmed to produce the precise shape and size of the gear teeth required for the specific application. During the milling process, the workpiece is rotated at a controlled speed while the cutting tool is moved in a specific pattern to remove the material. The VMD-1000TM is capable of producing cyclopalloid gears with high accuracy and repeatability due to its advanced CNC control system and precision machining capabilities. Forging is a manufacturing process that involves shaping metal by compressing it under high pressure. Free forging, also known as open die forging, is a technique in which a metal is deformed between two flat dies, creating a desired shape. The Japanese have long been recognized for their expertise in the art of forging, particularly in the production of high-quality steel. In this section, we will explore how to forge a large coupling S45C weighing 900 kilograms using Japanese technology. Material selection The first step in the forging process is selecting the material to be used. 
for this application, S45C Steel is a suitable choice due to its good machinability, excellent toughness, and high strength. S45C is a type of carbon steel with a carbon content of between 0.42% and 0.48%, which provides it with its desirable properties. Heating once the material is selected, the next step is to heat it to a suitable temperature for forging. Forging temperature is crucial because it affects the material's properties and the efficiency of the forging process. In general, S45C is heated to a temperature of between 1100 degrees Celsius and 1200 degrees Celsius for forging. Hammering after the material has been heated to the appropriate temperature, it is then placed onto the anvil, and the hammering process can begin. The hammering process is where the metal is compressed between the two dies. In the case of S45C, a large hydraulic hammer is used to apply the necessary force to shape the metal. Die selection The selection of dies is another essential consideration in the forging process. Dies are typically made of high-strength steel and are machined to a specific shape. In this case, the dies need to be designed to shape the S45C steel into the desired coupling shape. The dies used in this process will need to be able to withstand the high temperatures and pressures involved in the forging process. Forging process The forging process for the large coupling S45C involves several steps. First, the material is heated to the appropriate temperature. Next, the dies are positioned over the material and the hydraulic hammer applies force to the top die. This pressure causes the metal to flow and take the shape of the dies. The hammering process is repeated several times, with the material being rotated to ensure even deformation. As the process continues, the coupling will gradually take shape.
Here are some additional notes on the process of forging a large coupling S45C900 kilograms by free forging using Japanese technology. The material selection is crucial, as S45C is a suitable type of steel for this application due to its good machinability, excellent toughness, and high strength. The forging temperature is also critical and should be maintained at a temperature of between 1,100 degrees Celsius and 1,200 degrees Celsius for S45C. The hydraulic hammer used in this process is a powerful piece of equipment that can apply a tremendous amount of force to the material. The dies used in this process need to be designed specifically to shape the S45C steel into the desired coupling shape and must be able to withstand the high temperatures and pressures involved. The hammering process must be repeated several times, with the material being rotated to ensure even deformation and shape. After the forging process, the coupling will need to be finished using a combination of machining and grinding processes to remove any excess material and refine the final shape. Quality control is critical in the forging process, with non-destructive testing NDT, conducted to detect any defects in the material. Finishing after the forging process is complete, the coupling will need to be finished to remove any excess material and refine the final shape. This can be done using a combination of machining and grinding processes. Quality control, quality control is a crucial part of the forging process. In Japan, the forging process is highly regulated to ensure that the final product meets the required specifications. This includes conducting non-destructive testing, NDT, to detect any defects in the material. The Danobat Group CNC-controlled portal lathe is a high-precision machine tool that utilizes advanced technology and software to precisely shape and cut materials. The machine consists of several main components, including the bed, headstock, tailstock, tool turret, and CNC control system, which work together to perform complex machining operations. The bed is the base of the machine and provides a stable platform for the other components. The headstock is mounted on the bed and houses the spindle, which rotates the workpiece. The tailstock is located on the opposite end of the bed and provides support for the workpiece during machining operations. The tool turret is a rotating mechanism that holds multiple cutting tools, allowing the machine to perform multiple machining operations without the need for manual tool changes. The turret is positioned above the workpiece and the tools are lowered into position for cutting. The CNC control system is the heart of the machine. It uses specialized software to generate machining programs that instruct the machine on how to cut the workpiece. The operator inputs the design specifications into the computer and the software translates the information into a language that the machine can understand. Once the program is loaded into the machine, the cutting process begins. The workpiece is loaded into the machine and secured to the spindle. The machine then moves the cutting tools into position and the cutting process begins. The CNC control system monitors the cutting process and adjusts the cutting parameters, such as speed, feed rate, and tool positioning, to ensure optimal performance. The system also includes safety features to prevent accidents and protect the machine and operator.
The Danobat Group CNC-controlled portal lathe is capable of performing a wide range of machining operations, including turning, drilling, boring, and threading. Its precision and accuracy make it ideal for manufacturing complex parts and components for various industries, such as aerospace, automotive, and energy. In addition to its advanced technology and software, the Danobat Group CNC-controlled portal lathe also features a robust construction that ensures stability and precision in the cutting process. The machine can be customized to fit specific requirements, such as the length and diameter of the parts to be machined, the type of material, and the required precision and speed. Shun Chuan Machinery Industrial Company Limited is a leading manufacturer of manual lathes in Taiwan. The company has been producing high-quality machines since 1994 and has gained a reputation for excellence in the industry. This section will show some main stage in the manufacturing process of Shun Chuan manual lathes including casting, machining, assembly, and testing. The first is casting. The process begins with the creation of a mold, which is used to shape the molten metal into the desired shape. The mold is made of sand, which is compacted around a pattern that represents the shape of the part being cast. The molten metal is poured into the mold and allowed to cool and solidify. Once the casting has solidified, it is removed from the mold and cleaned up to remove any excess material or rough edges. The next step is machining. In this step, the castings are machined to the precise dimensions required for the final product. This involves the use of various cutting tools, including lathes, milling machines, and grinders. The machinists carefully remove any excess material and create the necessary features, such as holes, threads, and grooves, using precision measuring tools to ensure accuracy. After the machining process, the parts are ready for assembly. In this step, the various components of the lathe are put together to create the final product. This involves fitting together the main bed, headstock, tailstock, carriage, and other components, as well as attaching various accessories, such as the chuck and tool post. The assembly process is critical to ensuring that the machine operates smoothly and accurately. Finally, the lathe is tested to ensure that it meets the company's high standards for quality and performance. The testing process involves running the machine through a series of tests to verify its accuracy, durability, and reliability. This includes checking the alignment of the various components, testing the spindle speed and torque, and verifying the accuracy of the cutting tools. Once the testing is complete and the machine passes all of the quality checks, it is ready to be packaged and shipped to customers. Liked Metal Hanover employs state-of-the-art equipment in its continuous casting production process for aluminum manufacturing. The process involves the use of two tiltable 50-ton channel-type induction furnaces and a level vertical continuous caster to produce round billets with a maximum casting length of 7,000 millimeters. The facility offers a range of cold forming sizes, dependent on the alloy, ranging from 158 to 685 millimeters. After casting, the billets are removed from the casting basin and subjected to heat treatment, specifically homogenization, in one of three direct gas-fired homogenization furnaces. This process ensures a temperature accuracy level of plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius, meeting the aerospace material specification AMS 2750. Quality checks are carried out several times throughout the aluminum billet production process, ensuring that the facility produces more than 35,000 tons of high-quality products annually. 
These quality checks occur between each step of production, from casting to heat treatment, ensuring that the end product meets stringent quality standards. This ensures that light metal process more than 35,000 tons annually at the highest quality. The manufacturing process of brass hinges begins with the collection of brass scrap, which is then melted in a furnace to form a molten brass alloy. This brass alloy is a combination of copper and zinc, with small amounts of other metals such as lead, tin, and nickel added to achieve specific properties such as increased strength, corrosion resistance, or color. The molten brass is then poured into a brass extrusion machine, where it is forced through a die to form a long brass rod. The extrusion process involves applying pressure to the molten brass as it passes through the die, which shapes it into the desired profile of the hinge. The extruded brass rod is then cooled and cut to the required length. The brass rod is heated to the forging temperature, which typically ranges between 600 and 800 degrees Celsius. The heated brass rod is then placed into a forging press, where it is subjected to high pressure and shaped into the desired shape and size of the hinge. The hinge is then drilled for the screw holes and the pinhole. The screw holes are usually located on the wings of the hinge, and the pinhole is located in the middle of the hinge. Easy former swagging machines are a line of high-quality, reliable machines produced by Ross Germany. Swagging is the process of reducing or increasing the diameter of a metal tube or pipe by compressing or expanding its end. This process is widely used in the manufacturing industry for a variety of applications, including plumbing, automotive, aerospace, and construction. The line of swagging machines is designed to provide a cost-effective and efficient solution for the swagging process. These machines are engineered with advanced features, including powerful motors, precision control systems, and high-quality tooling, which enable them to produce accurate and consistent results. The machines are available in a range of models, each designed to meet specific swagging requirements. The machines can be used for both hot and cold swagging applications and can handle a wide range of materials, including steel, aluminum, copper, and brass. One of the key benefits of the Easy Former line is its ease of use. The machines are designed with user-friendly controls and intuitive interfaces, making them accessible to operators with minimal training or experience. Additionally, the machines are engineered with safety features to ensure the protection of operators and reduce the risk of accidents. Ross Germany is a leading manufacturer of metalworking machinery, and its easy former line of swagging machines reflects the company's commitment to innovation, quality, and customer satisfaction. With a global network of distributors and service centers, Ross Germany provides reliable support to customers around the world.